I would say um, definitely just go for it. Um, obviously, find a, a good uh, teacher, like the School of Natural Skincare um, is excellent. Well, I'm um, Kate, I'm from Surrey, and I am a herbalist and nutritionist, and that's what I studied before. And so I've always been interested in plants and their uses. And what really got me interested in natural skincare formulation was that I have incredibly sensitive skin that um, just flares up at the slightest thing. So I kind of had to start making my own skincare and I used my grandmother's um, Victorian skincare recipe book to <laughs> make all sorts of bizarre things with crushed strawberries and, and some of that was disastrous. So I thought I should really learn to do this properly um, and then I could use proper you know, skincare products like, like everyone else. That, that was really how I got started. So I came across the School of Natural Skincare at uh, it was the beginning of lockdown and I was looking for something to do with myself and I thought this was perfect. So I enrolled on the um, diploma um, natural skincare um, and the hair care one actually. Initially I just wanted to learn how to make skincare for myself but I enjoyed it so much that I thought actually I'd quite like to make a brand out of this. And then when I started selling products the most common thing that people asked me for was makeup products which I didn't know how to make um, so it's very timely that you then um, brought out the uh, makeup uh, course as well so I did that as well. So I think what I most enjoyed about the courses was getting all the um, the video demonstrations they were really helpful um, there were a lot of different um, products so lots of different um types of you know cleansers or whatever so that I could kind of pick which ones worked um for me um because you sometimes you just like more one more than another really enjoyed doing the the hair care course that was um was a bit more in depth some of the the theory for that that's really enjoyable I love doing the uh, the makeup course because I was a little bit scared of using all those really bright colours at first. I loved the uh, doing the, the lipstick formulation because um, I then went and had a go at it and it worked really well. I was really pleased about that. The brand that I've created is called Gaia's Little Helpers because it's all about trying to do our small bit to help out our planet. It's all focused around um, sustainable packaging. Um, so I've been putting things like mostly sort of in glass um, jars and aluminium lids. These are my lovely range of moisturisers which I'm working on at the moment and I'm just getting them certified. Um, and at the moment I've got, um, I've got some cleansers, um, things like bath salts. I've got these, um, these gorgeous cuticle oils. Which I was very, very happy to get these gorgeous little bottles. And um, yeah, I've got a few different, uh, a few different skincare and hair care products. And then I found that the most common thing that people asked me for was makeup products. So um, having studied the makeup course um, at School of Natural Skincare, I've just started doing that. I started doing a nice uh, thing of lip glosses, which is really nice. Um, and these lovely lipsticks, um, which are not all blue, but this was just a really fun one that I did. Mm. It was a bit harder than I thought because <laughs> getting it just the right temperature so that it, it but I got there. Um, and uh, I was really pleased how well that worked. So uh, I'm very fond of that product and it's going to be coming out very soon. As soon as I've worked out what colours I'm going to do because I'm having too much fun at the moment mixing up colours. <laughs> the um, love most about um, being able to formulate my own products, but it's just very empowering to be able to make um any product that you want so if you you know you see a particular product a particular cleanser or something and you think yeah that sounds nice but i don't like that ingredient you can just um you know how to go away and uh, make your own with um an ingredient that say locally produced or if you know there's a lip balm but it's not vegan you just go and make a vegan one so you can make it fit your um your values Yeah, I think it, it was quite an um, it was quite an unexpected 
journey in a way. I just started off um, experimenting in the kitchen for making my you know, products for myself. And um, yeah, I was a bit nervous about doing some of the, the products. Like when it came to making emulsions, I thought, oh no, <laughs> I haven't studied chemistry. Um, that might go hideously wrong. Took some experimenting sometimes, you know, trying to mix it. It, it didn't really work. And then I got a stick blender and realized that was the way forward. Um, and then I was I was really pleased when I started doing the, the, the makeup products and some of those colors were just a bit too bright. And I thought, no, I can't put this much pigment in it. But um, and yeah, yeah, really pleased when it when it came out. And um, yeah, I, I was surprised I realized how much I really enjoyed um, enjoyed doing it. And um, as I got so much more confident making products, um, I found then I was able to sort of, you know, once you understand the fundamentals, you then if you want to make a new type of product, you sort of know roughly how it's going to work. So um, you feel a lot more confident then that you can make different products. Um, which is which is really good um, and I really love now <laughs> I actually sell them I would say um, definitely just um, just just go for it um, obviously um, yeah find a, a good um, teacher like the school of natural skincare um, is excellent you definitely need a, a you know respected formulation school really um, enjoy yourself and do lots and lots of experimenting um definitely do all the the formulation exercises um and don't skip over products that you don't think you're going to like because sometimes you can be really surprised because I have got quite oily skin and I didn't think I was going to like oil based like cleansers and things and actually I found they're really they're actually really good just try everything and have fun yeah at the moment I'm um I'm focusing on um, perfecting some of these um, makeup products um, and then bringing them to sale. Um, I'm also talking to some local shops. Um, I've got one of them that's going to be stocking my products and I'm now going to try and find some more. So that's um, that's exciting. I also um, I'm looking to make more of the sort of solid um, things like I've, I've done some solid shampoo bars, but I'd really like to do more sort of lotion bars and, and things like that. And um, and of course, I've noticed you you do have your diploma in zero waste cosmetics up now. I thought well, that's handy, so yeah, I might be signing up for that um, because yeah, I I just want to expand that um, a little bit because I don't like the idea of glass bottles in a shower. So I need to make more of of those kinds of products. I think. For me, um, yeah, it's been. Um, it's been a really um, interesting journey. As I said, it's very empowering to be able to, to make my own skincare. Um, and uh, it's, uh, it's very nice that my skin does not flare up now when I wash my face, which is, which is good because I use all of my own products, obviously. And um, yeah, it's, it's really lovely not to have to keep buying plastic bottles of shampoo and, and things like that because that, um, that upset me, <laughs> all the plastic waste. It's just been a really, uh, a really great journey. Uh, yeah, and I've really enjoyed it. I started off um, my first um, sort of little range of skincare that I designed, which is the Goddess Luxury range. I'm actually planning to do three. We've got Princess Luxury for younger women and then the Empress Luxury for the sort of middle-aged one. We started off with the Goddess Luxury, um, which is aimed at more um, mature skin. I kind of used my mother as a, uh, you know, to experiment on. Um, and um, so, yes, uh, and that's that's lovely rose and a really kind of uh, scent. So that was... Um, that is very much my my target market starting off as I started adding other um, products. Um, I've been sort of expanding <laughs> that. So my makeup um, products, um, obviously, uh, I'm you know trying to make them suitable for, uh, you know, a wide range of, of, of skin types and uh, making them in all different colours to try and make them as inclusive as possible.